Tackle your New Year's evolutions with vitamins and supplements from Ollie. Because this year, pressure-filled resolutions are out and evolutions are in. Sure, lofty goals are great, but little steps count too. One good night's sleep, one feel-good choice. Bite-sized goals lead to big wins. Ollie, supplements for your New Year's evolution. Find your new wellness go-tos at Ollie.com. Ollie! These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Black Wall Street is now online, baby. That's right. Visit the GW District. Shop the very best in men's and women's apparel and accessories, home decor, office supplies, books, pantry items, and so much more. The GW District is a retail marketplace of black-owned products and media. We're both veteran and black-owned, and we're bringing you the best online shopping experience with products made by small businesses. Come and experience the GW District difference today at Shop gwdistrict.com that's shop gwdistrict.com the gw district a retail marketplace of black owned products and media that's right that's right already on everything yeah they want to see everything and i'm very first of all i just want to say thank you for coming on my show because i wanted to talk to more trans individuals and people on that side of the porn spectrum you yes know? thank you for inviting me it's a pleasure because um, i had the pleasure of having cassie cummings on the show it was it, she's pleasurable i can't wait to bring her back and everything oh my God. yeah and i, I think i haven't gotten the pleasure to meet her yet but i definitely know who she is in the industry Oh my God! I love to see y'all two work together. That shit. <laughs> right? Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> we will somehow make it happen. <laughs> yeah, because even to me, I, I tell people everyone has a story, and we hear about porn all the time, but you hear it from the straight side. You don't ever hear it from the other side. Not even. Yeah, from, from the actual porn side. That. <laughs> so that's part of the reason why I wanted to have trans individuals on my show so they can give their perspective of the porn industry the good yes. and bad and indifferent so and how are you doing i'm sorry for me i'm so being uncoordinated how are you doing today? <laughs> no i'm doing great thank you i went out last night to a halloween party but i'm doing great i'm smoking my blunt i'm here with you and <laughs> drinking my coffee too so i'm just having a good time so far how are you today i'm doing fine you see i got my coffee i just hate that i got no weed i'm just Yes, I know. This, this, the smokers lounge and the host don't have no weed. She has weed right. she smoke for the both of us. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, my I don't know if you if follow me on Instagram, but my Instagram name is Blunts in Paradise because I oh, actually yeah. used to work in the cannabis industry before I started doing porn. So I always one thing about me, I will always have a, a blunt or a joint ready. <laughs> God, I can't wait to be around you. We're going to have a ball there, I see. <laughs> yes, bong rig, jazz, whatever you want. <laughs> it's funny, like, we smokers, we get along so fucking well. Now, alcohol is not necessarily, <laughs> or drug exactly. addicts. We, 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 we sell us, we, get, we yes. smokers, we get along just fine. <laughs> right, I will go California sober any day. <laughs> No doubt, no doubt. So uh, let me do these particulars and we can get this thing on the road. Okay, gorgeous? Sounds good. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Smokers Lounge here on Anchor, the perfect app for anyone who's trying to start their own podcast career. Me and Don recorded it. Well, Anchor is my host. Let's just say that. And <laughs> if you want to become a podcast, all you got to do is go to anchor.fm or go download it, the app on your phone and start a podcast today. I'm your host, Kevin Arvis, Southern Champ, a.k.a. The Porn Rap Star. Y'all know what it is. Find all my links with one link. Allmylinks.com backslash Porn Rap Star. Let me tell you about three wonderful sponsors we have. The first one being the LS, the LS version of X book, I mean, of Facebook. I'm talking about LSworld.com. Next up, the hottest adult magazine on the web, eroticismmagazine.com. And last but not least, and 90% profit that you take home. Plus, you ain't got to worry about hashtag issues. You can post what you want with no problem. You would not have to worry about it being taken down. And they even offer health care. And for you consumers, well, you get to consume some new triple X content from some of the hottest names in porn. I'm talking about X site. Bunny.com. We also a proud member of the GW District Black Podcasting Network. So go over to shop GWDistrict.com and do some shopping and buy products from over 500 black-owned retailers and shops. Also, check me out 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not Saturday nor Sunday. I'm talking about FullySwapRadio.com, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You go over there, you can listen to the STO, the Smokers Lounge, on that app. As well as find me on SkyhawkAfterDarkTV.com, as well as the BGP LLC app. So with that being said, I'm about to step back and let this gorgeous, sexy, beautiful individual introduce herself. Hi, you guys. My name is Paradise. Um, I'm originally from Mexico, actually, but I moved to America when I was 15, and Yes, I grew up Mormon. I don't know if that's interesting or not, but yes. And I've been in the in the porn industry for about a year and a half now. Oh my God. It, it's funny, like, I was talking to a, a friend of mine when we were doing the episode. She has a podcast, too. And it's funny, when we be talking to some of y'all, we be thinking that y'all just straight up vets, and y'all only been in the business a year. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you know what? You know what's the funny thing? Um, I was actually when I first started to get into the industry, I was filming and directing and styling other porn stars that were also doing content trade because content content is a completely different thing than mainstream, and uh, content is for um, only fans, creators, many fans, you know, all the all the fan sites, you know, and uh, mainstream is like filming for Trans Angels, Groovy, Gender X, you know, and all the bigger um, studio brands, you know. And yes. I was filming and directing for a lot of these porn stars uh, that were trying to do side gigs with OnlyFans. And yeah, that's how I started. Eventually, um, I really liked it. I had a lot of fun. I met a lot of great people in the industry. Victor Belmont, Jane Marie, um, Austin Spears, to make, name some of them. And they're all trans people. Amazing, amazing trans um, artists. And I just got it really inspired and I felt like I like was able to do it as well. And it was only, I was only con- doing content for about two months. And then I started getting hit up by mainstream studios and I started right away. <laughs> My first scene was a hardcore scene, which doesn't really happen often for a lot of people that debut in the industry. Um, they usually start off with one solo or two solos to kind of like get you in the, get you in the mood, you know, to kind of like show you how the industry works. But I was like, no, I want a hardcore scene. Um, let's do it. Go hard or go home. And yeah, that's how it all started. <laughs> <laughs> so with your first this with your first pro shoot, because people must understand when you're shooting content, it's different than doing shooting pro. Yes. You know, there are content creators that shoot pro style. Yes. Oh yeah. But it's not like make um pressure to it. Yeah, unless they make their their content into an, like a studio side where they pay models and um, they do all of this stuff, like they run it like a studio or like a yeah, like a corporation in a way, I would say, you know, because yeah. everything's very well run, everything's very well done, you know. Yeah. So, so I mean, first, your first pro shoot. Um, let's unpack that. How nervous was you? Um, what was your because I'm pretty, because you've been in front of the camera, so that ice been broken before. You know, yeah. plus, so it been on a point set, so you know, kind of, kind of get out. You kind of got an idea how it works, um, but it's different from I'm watching to I'm in the midst of it. Tells your experience with your first porn scene from the time yeah. you walk in the scene, talking to the other performers and the whole nine. Well, it's a um, funny thing. So um, when they when my first scene was with Groovy Girls, um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. Uh, it's one of the bigger brands as well. They've been around for like 25 years, I believe. And um, yeah, they're great. Um, I walked in and they didn't know I had braces. And when I walked in, they were so excited because there's only like two girls in the industry that are trans and have braces, you know? And um, well, I, I believe the other girl is Easy Wild, beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, so she's listening, I love you, Easy. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, yeah, I walked in, I took off my mask and they were like, oh, you have braces, you look so adorable. And I was like, thank you so much. And um, they were they, they were really nice. They were already expecting me. It felt really, really comforting um, walking in and being able to feel, um, have excited to meet you, even though they haven't met you before, you know? And they made me feel really comfortable. Um, Buddy Wood, um, amazing director. He always makes me feel so sexy, which I love him for that. And um, yeah, um, it was great. I was a little bit nervous at first, but I already had, um, 
I think I the way I thought about it was like I already had like fucked in front of the camera, you know. So like, how hard can it be if like a few people are watching as well, you know? <laughs> and then I I just thought it was so nonchalant, and I already and I um and I was already excited, you know. And I already knew who my scene partner was, and he was so hot, Chris Chris Epic. Oh my god, amazing amazing performer and. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous at first, but um, they gave me my like space and time and they were very respectful of me and I just couldn't help but to feel comfortable, you know, and excited to be there. And I just wanted to fuck and I wanted to have a good time and, <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to see what the hype was all about, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's, definitely. it's definitely different from studio from um content trade for like people that film for content for only fans or many bits um it's definitely different compared to shooting for a studio you know you have a lot of the times you have an assistant and you have a producer and sometimes a director you know and people play different roles and um but everybody's very polite you know nobody make nobody like nobody makes it weird like seeing a naked body you know <laughs> yeah most definitely so now, trans, the, it, which, okay, the world I came from, transgender indi individuals fell underneath gay porn, because that's what they called it, okay, back in the day. Yeah. So, and as the years grew on, I started seeing more companies delve into using transgender and actually yeah. using transgender, you know, period. And recently, of course, Brazzers decided to cross over. Yeah. Saw that Brad start shooting transgenders. What was your thought? Um, I was very excited because they actually followed me on Instagram. I haven't shot with them, unfortunately, but I'm hoping. But they were they followed me on Instagram, and I was very very stoked. Um, I believe Daisy Taylor was the first Brazzers yeah. trans girl, and uh, yeah. one of my friends, two of my friends actually. Yes, I have actually, now that I'm thinking about it, a couple of my friends have shot with Brazzers now, and I'm just hoping to be the next girl, you know? But um, I was very excited. I was, I you fall was really along with Brazzers. Brazzers. <laughs> you fall along the lines with them, period. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, my God, I hope they hear you. Brazzers, if you're hearing this, <laughs> hit up your girl. <laughs> but, yes, I thought it was very revolutionary. Um, I thought it was time for um, that to happen, you know, because Brazzers, I feel like Brazzers are a lot of little studios that, like, also shoot trans porn, you know, so mm -hmm. I think it was time to bring in, like, the big fish into the industry, you know, at least to the side of the trans community, you know, and because we have a lot of amazing talent, you know, and mm -hmm. yes, and we are the fantasy just as any other woman, and we love it. <laughs> People love to see it. Transgender porn is some of the most... Um, watch porn, and if I'm not mistaken, trans models are some of the highest paying models as well. Yeah, because one, you play into a very niche market. It's, it's yes. about as niche that is BDSM or even fetish, you know, yes. and you're not only, and two, also y'all double as kind of like if you want to be on an inspiration for mm -hmm. transgenders who ever thought about getting into porn, or just in general that you can be transgender and make it in the entertainment industry, you know? Yes, and, and right. another thing as right. well, like, you can be trans, you can be in porn, and you can eventually branch out of the industry and do different yeah. things, you know? Um, yeah, because I've had many friends that have done other things, you know, they green platforms on TikTok and they become TikTokers, you know? And that's a completely different game compared uh, in comparison to porn, you know, or like the adult entertainment in general, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's definitely. amazing, you know, like for me, like um, I do porn as well. But before I did porn, I used to be a runway model for about a year. And um, and that was crazy, you know, and now I'm starting to focus on music and I'm so excited. I'm very, very new to it, but I'm very excited. So, yeah, like I feel like people don't realize that, like, just because you do porn, doesn't mean that you're always you're only going to be recognized by that. You know, like human beings have so many virtues that. Um, sucking dick might be just one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you does such a great job, I may add, <laughs> what I've seen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so um with that, so with the companies, like what okay, because now when you talk about companies, how they pick the la pick the ladies, um what some of the things that you have noticed that companies that deal in that side of porn 
what did they look for from their performance? Because, you know, um, cause you have on the straight side, you might have people that want them to get, get the women to get enhancements, tits, you know, BBLs and all that. Do y'all come under pressure like that of the straight women of the, um, I, the personally, women I do women? not, um, personally for me, I do not. I feel like, um, I have my own beauty standards for myself in a way, but I would say that a lot of studios, I feel like they're always looking for personality. You know, I feel like, um, cause a lot of these studios are not as gonzo as it used to be. And by gonzo, I mean, it's just like two people fucking or eventually getting to the point, you know? A lot of these studios um, send you a script a week in advance and it's a whole scene, you know, we act, we like express, you know, and it's like a whole film, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, I feel like you, I felt like a lot of students are looking for a good personality to match into a character for their scene, you know, because even though it's it's porn, it's still entertainment, you know, it's still it's still um, we like a lot of the students love to have a plot and a lot of the fans love to see a plot, you know, so I feel like more than anything, they look for personality, you know, um, I feel like we've gotten to the point in the, in the adult industry in general, not just for the trans community where there's categories and a king for everyone. You know, and I love that. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, are you into BDSM? Do you do BDSM scenes or anything like that? Oh my God! Actually, I was just talking to a friend about me starting to do dominatrix stuff because I feel like I've always been given like the cute little girl next door, the little eighteen-year-old high school girl, or like a freshly college girl. You know, like I feel like I'm always giving younger vibe, and like I really want to get into dominatrix stuff, and I really want to be more dumb. And show a different side of paradise, you know. Mm. And I really, I'm very interested. Um, I haven't gotten into it, unfortunately. But you, 2023 will will probably be the year, you know, <laughs> where yeah. I show a different side of me. <laughs> so you see the trend of more companies popping up shooting transgender because I'm starting to see that now. You know? Yes. <laughs> compared to when I first came in the game and even like shit two years ago, you know, what do you attribute to why there's more companies popping up? Is it because they're seeing the money in it or is it that porn is becoming more progressive now? I feel like porn is becoming more progressive. You know, I feel like um, the porn industry and the, it's becoming a whole, it's an industry, you know, and, um, people grow and people can't help but to see them. Even if like social media has tried to like shut us down or cancel us or shadow ban us, you know, I feel like um, porn is watched by the entire world, you know, and um, people like, even if you only have one video, that video can get over a million views and people all around the world would see that, you know? And yeah, I feel like um, it's so different now. The game is completely different from what it used to be. You know, it's, I feel like before people used to be like, not a shame, but they wouldn't be as a spoken of being proud of working as a porn star or uh, even as a stripper, you know, and, and now it's so open and so mainstream and so like, it's so different. I can't believe it. You know, me, I grew up in Mexico and I grew up Mormon and to be able to live this lifestyle that I have now and to be able to be respected in the industry, it's crazy to me. <laughs> yeah, because the one thing I can say about porn is that it accepts. Yes, 100%. What any other part of society accepts. Because the fact that you said you were Mormon, I can imagine the hell that you dealt with, you know, growing up. Yeah, and I... But for me, I would say that, like, um, going back to your question, like, I don't personally really do it for the money. I do it because I have a good time. I feel sexually empowered, you know? I feel like I grew up very suppressed from, like, expressing sexuality and gender and, like, ex- and artistry and expression, you know? And now that I, I get to... Porn is, like, the one place where I feel, like, welcome and sexy and empowered. And I love it, you know? I feel like... Yeah, it's like the money's great. I'm not gonna lie. I cannot complain. <laughs> you know? See, um, I, I, trust I, I me, feel... because uh, gay pays people. Tra- trust me. It pays better mm-hmm. than the street. I'm just Yeah, being you know, like whoever shames people from the sex industry, they're mistaken, baby, because we, we work hard as well. You know, we work hard in a different way, but we work hard nonetheless. But um yes, the money, I respect the money. <laughs> 
Yeah, because uh, because I even remember hearing Gay Performance House talk about how much they got paid just the male guys. And I think about how much male straight talent get paid. They don't even get paid close to what them guys mm-hmm. bring. You mm-hmm. know, pretty, it's just the downside of it is that once you do gay porn, you can't cross over mainstream. You still can work with straight stars um, on the independent level and the small levels, but mainstream still ain't caught up with the rest of porn, which is funny because it's always a decade behind the rest of the world. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, yeah. I feel like it's not that it's behind, it's just suppressed. You know, I feel like people are so afraid of sexually express themselves sometimes, you know, and yeah. and, and the time, times are changing, you know, whether we want to believe it or we want to like it or not, um, times are changing and we're progressing and the future generations are going to be hornier and fucking crazier <laughs> in a good yeah. way, we hope, you know. Yeah, because think about it, kids, because I mean, I don't know your age, but I grew up where it was just, you have a gay, straight or bi. Now we have so many orientations. Yes. It's kind of like that. That shows me how much by the time I even, which I told people, we're not, we're not gonna be alive to see when a lot of the shit that we're dealing with now, we're not. They, our kids ain't gonna be dealing with because. Yes, right. I just hope we get to a day. I really, really hope we get to a day where like world hunger is not a thing anymore, and where like racism is like either illegal or just like vanquished or just like not existent. You know. I really, really hope, like, even if I don't get to live it, I really hope to be able to be a part of that change, you know, oh, we I really need it. Man. I feel like the world needs so much land is Because everybody going to throw that shit to the wind. <laughs> For real? Oh, my goodness. I need a hit of my blunt. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sorry, it will blow people by. Because soon the aliens come down here, they say something. Well, shit, we created you motherfuckers. Then I what know. They what they gonna say then? Nothing. Can't say nothing. Not, not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be like, damn it, I was wrong. I told you <laughs> book wasn't right, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> no, because even with me, I, I tell people I think differently. Because when yes. I, I get things that when they talk about in the Bible, I said, have y'all ever seen God say he was against all of this? No, he did not. Actually, if you want to be honest, the angels was homorphodites. Let's go. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It, yeah, and like even in, even in Greek mythology, I believe like transgender people were looked yeah. upon as like for advice, you know? Yeah. Like we they, had they, the, the highest form of empathy and sympathy yeah, that we were able to understand. Yes. Yeah. They would look at uh-huh. the perfect thing, you know, period. They, they, yes. they had, and I believe India has a trans goddess as well. So, yeah. yes. But it was I'm excited weird. For, to see how like the like a hundred years from now, how our generation is going, like humanity is going to be, if we even still have Earth, because like fucking pollution is taking over too. <laughs> You're already trying to get them move to Mars and the moon. I, I just... know. I, like they need to get on that shit already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So uh, now I'm going to ask you this, then we're going to move on to the, 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 the part of the show that everybody loves. Now, talking to Cassie. And I know y'all, the, the trans individuals deal with this. When you have straight male talent who want to fuck you, but fuck you off camera, or they're willing to film, but they don't want to show their face. Have you experienced that and how you feel about when motherfuckers come at you like that? Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should spill some tea right now, <laughs> but... Um... <laughs> Yes, you know, I would, but I would say this. Only say names in the premium smoke room, people. So four ninety nine a month. If you want it, <laughs> spill some names. You got to pay to hear it. We don't give names. We just yes. Names oh my god. Um, so you ain't got to give a name here, baby. Okay, yeah, but I would say I did have an experience where I was going for a bleep studio with bleep performer and like their show, their face couldn't show, and yeah. It was weird, but I still had a great time, and um, we did fuck off camera a little. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. He was he was definitely hot, you know. But um, I don't know if it was like about like I'm sure they, he didn't care about what the industry said, but I feel like somebody that he was with at the time didn't know that he was doing what he was doing, and he was like, "Yes, you know." But um. 
Yeah, but I definitely had people that like, um, like content creators that are like, oh, if you like ever just need a dick to write on for your content page, like I wouldn't mind being it. But it's like, uh, I only like to film with um, established creators or like not, not even established like, cre uh, English, sorry. <laughs> Not even established creators because I feel like established creators sometimes they cannot create an iconic video. You know, I feel like he, like two people that have great chemistry will make something iconic. You know, so like as long as we get along and as long as you respect for all boundaries, I'm down to film. You know, but mm -hmm. I personally like to do more studio work, so I don't always film content. You know, but when I do, it's always with people that I'm either friends with or like I care about and like they wanna put up their page or something. You know. So, but anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I, because I know that girls, I, I know ladies like yourself deal with that, you know, yeah, um, we do, know. it happens, it happens way more times, if I can get a dollar for every time, <laughs> I I be rolling many blunts. <laughs> I swear, because it'd be like, and to me, I look at it like this, we in a day and era that you don't need mainstream, mm -hmm. so to, to even be that, in my opinion, ignorant. If, yeah. If, if, it's just like with me, if, like, for example, I'll tell anybody, a transgender is gorgeous. Now, that don't necessarily mean I will fuck one. But if I fuck one, I damn sure, especially on camera, I'm showing my face. I'm not going to be shamed of it because yeah. that's And people don't realize when you hide who you are, it makes you a miserable human being. Yes. And that's just, like, for, like, internalized transphobia and homophobia you know that's like you need to talk to your therapist type of shit you know <laughs> but, because but yeah. I, think, I think that women wouldn't date them if they were bi that's not the truth because there's a lot of women that would want to date a bi man mm -hmm. you know period you know hands down or what some of these dumb motherfuckers like to say I ain't bi I'm just freaky she just sucked my dick I'm like no nigga you 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 bi <laughs> but, yeah, like, like you like it, you know, like <laughs> you you like it. The only way you are not by a gay is if you're getting pegged by a woman. That's just a hard prostate exam, different level. I'm telling you, different level. You know. So with that, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, no, because you always had that argument that when a guy gets paid by a woman, it's considered gay. I'm like, no, it's not gay. He just gets no. It's just ass. like like people don't like understand that like sex, like like if it's a man and a woman, regardless if it's trans or not, trans or not, um, it's still like pretty much straight sex. You know, it's yeah. pretty much heterosexual because it's still female energy and male energy, like fucking. Yeah. You know, it it's yeah. like yeah, like. And people don't understand that, like, a man is straight and masculine or whatever you want. Um, literally, he, if he wants to get fucked in the ass, like, let him get fucked and rammed and railed and, you know, like, shit. Like, that, it doesn't take away it doesn't take away any masculinity, you know? If anything, it makes you more masculine because you are, like, expressing yourself in a sexual way that not many men are there themselves to do, you know? And many men want to do, but too scared to do. Because, yeah, you know, straight up. <laughs> yeah, because to me, we both have masculine and feminine energy within us. It's just yes. facts. You know, period. And a lot of men can't accept that. You know, period. We have both energies. You know, that, that's how we were born. You mm -hmm. know, period. because think about it. it, it your cells had to develop to change to male and female hands down yeah, and yeah then, the x chromosomes and the y chromosomes if we want to talk it into scientific level you know <laughs> yeah and then on top of that we talk about the soul we talking about energy you feel me so it's kind of like yeah you you might have been born male but your energy may be more feminine you mm -hmm. feel me? you know period you might be a woman soul you know and a lot of people don't take that into account you know mm -hmm. period. And that's the reason why you have, when a woman pegs a man, they automatically assume that's gay. That's not gay. That's straight. You know, no, pretty, it's not gay. It's, it's just be, it's man. having it's having sex in different ways. You get what I mean? Like yeah. sucking dick is sex. You get what I mean? It's oral yeah. sex, but it's a type of sex. You know, and like pegging is just another type of sex, and yeah. it's fun. 
and any and everybody should try it at least once and whether it's not for you or not like that's after you you try it you get what i mean first i tried so like, was a ass and that was it i said i can't do it i can take a tongue all day but i'm not taking a tongue all day. <laughs> but you you get what i mean but you you yeah. have to go through the experience you know, yeah. to see the hype you gotta find out what the hype is because you never know to be honest <laughs> so true so true so people you know what time of the show it is Yes. You know what time of show it is? It's the time of the show where the dicks go limp and the pussy go dry. They talk about the business. Hey. It's the part of the show where we're not talking about the sexy shit. We're talking about the ugly shit. We're talking about the business. The stuff that people don't want to fucking hear that come into this business. Such as it's not it's not as much money as you think sometimes. It's the ups mm-hmm. and downs, the work that we got to put in. The filming is the easy part of this. You got to promote, you got to market, you got to edit. In some cases, people got to actually go find people to work with. So when you talk to other people, I'm pretty sure you had some transgender individuals that step to you about doing porn. What's some of the things that you tell them the real about this business? When it comes to the um... real it's not for everyone, you know, anybody can have sex, of course, you know, but not everybody is brave enough to do it in front of the camera. And I feel like if, even if it sounds easy, it's not always easy, you know, and, um, and you had, and like, also like be prepared because people will see it, you know what I mean? And if it blows off and like it, how it happened to me, like one of my videos blew off in the pandemic, you know, and it got over a hundred thousand views. In, and then after that, like everything changed for me, you know, and like, and it was only a hundred thousand views, you know, and I started to gain a platform and too, way too fast for how I expected it to be, you know, and, and yeah, um, just be ready for the tension, you know, and, and just create your boundaries, you know, don't take it too hard when people, when people say negative shit, because at the end of the day, like good press or bad press is still good fucking press. <laughs> yeah. So, but I yes, see, um, see, you have to be strong minded. Yeah, God knows okay. the individual, you really got to have some, some, some iron coated skin. Yes, because but people it's, will it's, say it's, some it's, shit, you know, you will not always be everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. You know, because you will be of the cup of tea for somebody. Mm-hmm. Oh, most definitely, shit. Because I ain't gonna lie, I do enjoy watching trans porn. Yes, I hope you're watching. I'm straight. I After watch. this, I'm gonna send you a free link to my OnlyFans. No, no. <laughs> I tell people, I say I can't watch a girl on girl unless it's a peg, unless it's a strap on involved. Because okay, I, that's fair. Oh my god, I have a video where um, one of my cis girlfriends, um, Alexa Adams, she's a beautiful cisgender woman. Um, I went, I I went to a festival in um, Washington, and she happened to be there. And um, she like, I was like, "Oh, do you want a strap um, for me?" And she literally fucked me, and it was the fucking hottest sex ever. You guys have to watch that video. Sorry, watch and follow my girl Alexa Adams. Trans. Is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Cause I was like, because the first time I saw it, it was the first time I ever got in fact, yeah, by a cisgender girl. And I was literally like, oh my God, I think I just like fell in love. <laughs> yeah. Because to me, it's like, I, I tell you about, I'm just a freak. You know, I, it, I enjoy watching fucking period. You know, it's just, yeah, like, it's I just can't watch a girl on girl with it just like scissoring. The little double sided dude, I can't watch. You know what I'm saying? It, it bores me. But if I see a girl being fucked by a transgender yes. or being or another girl with a strap on, that to me is way harder. That's just me. Mm-hmm. I feel I love penetration. I love seeing penetration as well. Yeah. So I mean, like somebody needs to be getting it, you know? <laughs> Tell me about it, goddamn. Both of y'all can't be getting it at the same time with a deal, though. No, I need to see some big dick energy somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Like somebody got to act like the top for me, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> so had you worked with a dude? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with, yeah. Ass yeah I have worked with dudes before. Yeah, with cisgender guys and trans guys. I work a lot for my content page for my OnlyFans. I do a lot of trans on trans. So I work mm. with a lot of trans male talent. Um, but when um, for but when I do studio work, it's usually with cis male talent. Now here's the question. Which sells better, trans on trans or trans on male? Trans on trans, for sure. <laughs> mm, yeah, because you get to see both of them. Yeah. 
That's true. Yeah, because I've done a for, because a lot of my even my a lot of my professional shoots are girl on girl, trans on trans. You know, mm. and uh, yes, I those scenes made me very very popular, <laughs> and it's probably like the most fun. I did not expect for me to be into other trans women. You know, I for a long time I consider myself a straight woman. You know, straight transgender woman, and um. And no, I feel like I'm I'm more of a sapiosexual woman, you know. I base my attra sexual attraction on intelligence, you know. And women are very, very intelligent. And I just say less, <laughs> bend me over. <laughs> I feel that. So um, with with that, because uh, with damn, I damn, she, I started thinking about you getting fucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's you're okay. a sex-ass you know. woman, but I haven't gone for it. Thank you. It means a lot. <laughs> but, um, like, how many, do you get a lot of women that want to fuck with you? Because there's a lot of women that love. Yes, I do. Like, like, I do get a lot of female attention, the women attention, and I love it. Um, I'm currently dating a trans male, uh, trans male porn star as well, actually. But I do get a lot of attention from the girls, and I love it. Uh, I feel like I, it, it's more validating. I feel like for me, I always get complimented by men, you know, and like not to be like like all like uh, you know, but like I do get complimented by men a lot. But when a woman compliments me, I cannot help but to drop my panties, you know. <laughs> but yes, I do love it, and it's it feels really nice. <laughs> Oh, most definitely, because I, I just know that I would hear a woman like I didn't hear so many female times from an interview say, God, I would like to shoot with a transgender. They're hard to find. <laughs> They're hard to get. Now, now, I'm going to ask you this. Is it, how can I put this? Is it that transgenders are scared to deal with those, the, the women on that side? Um, Because there's a lot of girls that look at to shoot with, with women like you. You know, yes. so scenes like that. You know, their fans are asking for it. So, but why we don't see a lot of it? Is it because the trans don't want to deal with that side? Or is it the way that y'all being treated by that side? Um, by like shooting with cis cisgender women, you mean? Yeah, like, like yeah, like. Um, uh, well, for me, I haven't I, had the opportunity I'm to not shoot. Being correct, baby. I, I don't want to offend nobody. I mean. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just like a little high now, <laughs> but yeah. I just finished the blunt too. But anyways, um, for me, I wouldn't be able to have an opinion on that just because I haven't shot professionally at a studio with mm -hmm. this talent, this, this female talent yet. But mm -hmm. um. I feel like it just started to become a thing as well, you know. I feel like um, the studio started to really, really um, showcase cis women with trans women, um, girl on girl, you know. So I haven't had the chance to do it yet. I feel a little bit um, intimidated, you know, because I'm definitely more of a bottom girl, you know. And I don't see myself topping cis women, question mark, you know. But you never know what the future holds, you know, like the the right woman might come and I might just get real hard. <laughs> ah, but see, but even with that, you can still be a bottom in that situation. She just straps on. You feel oh, yes. Like, 100%. 100%. You know, yeah. It's still, now, the question is, did she suck it? You know, yeah, but I feel like it's not like, a, like people not get treated differently than cis girls but when they work together. But I definitely feel like um, it's, it just started to become a thing, you know? Um, trans porn, what has never been as showcased and as, like, mainstream as it is at this given moment in time, you know? So I feel like now it's the time where, like, they're, like, trying to come up with different ways to to showcase trans talent, you know? And I don't know, I feel like there's a reason why we are some of the highest paying talent, you know, in the porn industry as an in overall, you know? So, yeah. Because, um, because yeah. People, so many people want to see trans porn. Mm -hmm. including and it's some of, the most, some of the most viewed porn in the world, too. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, so it's funny that even though a lot of the mainstream companies ain't caught with it, they eventually ain't gonna have no choice because like I keep telling everybody, OnlyFans has killed the industry mainstream-wise because now I don't have to go to them to see women like her. I can just mm -hmm. go to her. I and you just said all about her, you know? Yeah. And because that what ends up happening anyway is that when they see you on the big site, all they're going to do is just Google your ass and start going to your site. 
You know yes. what I'm saying? Definitely always be. <laughs> and support the the creator directly, you know? Yeah. And mainstream porn was seeing that. That's why as much as I'm happy that Brazer became more open, they did it because they had no choice. We got to generate traffic for somewhere because apparently what we're doing ain't generating the money because everybody wanted to go to OnlyFans to see shit. So they That's had to... True. Push, you know, I feel period. that. I get, I, get what, I, get, I get exactly what you mean. Yes, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes desperation opens the door for us because them motherfuckers so desperate they opened the door that now <laughs> transgender individuals are shooting for a mainstream company, something that they've been screaming for decades. Decades, that's so true. Decades. And you know, but I'm glad that it happened now, you know. Um, I feel like time has changed and like trans people, we are starting to finally have a voice, you know, slowly and 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 not as loud as everybody else's, but for surely it's happening, you know, and um yeah, we trans people have been around for years and years and from the beginning of times, you know, and, and yeah. we will be here until the end of times, you know, so yeah, eventually, like, they had to notice us, you know, they had to, they had to throw it down for the dogs. <laughs> Look, I mean, when you think about it, like, and you know what, those scenes were hot, you know, like, I'm sure those trans scenes in Brazzers have been like some of the most viewed scenes in their sites, you know, and we'd love to see that, you know, and I'm I'm just hoping I get to shoot for Brazzers one day, and I'm super excited. You know? right, so we manifesting it for you. We yes, thank you. Brazzers. We're manifesting it. You know, I can say that. Because <laughs> I even think about Sydney Star. She's like one of my favorites. Yes. She's as fuck, yo. I I was, I was sorry, and I would love to see one of her. You know, points. I never joined her OnlyFans, but I love to see her in action. You know, and and like I tell anybody, because I had this conversation with a dude. And he was like, uh, we were talking about, you know, transgender, you know, women or what have you. And I told him, I said, she's a woman. When she was born with this, I said, okay, then, if you ever said this in your life, then dude, guess what? You an imbecile. Yeah. yeah a woman. Literally. I, shit out of her ass. Well, motherfucker, she is a woman. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like that's not a, like who are you to define somebody else's gender? You know, it's it's yeah. so crazy. I feel like people are so like so stuck in like female, like male, like boy and girl, pink and blue. You know that like people forget that people we have the choice to identify ourselves how we want to be. You know, and if I want to be a, consider a fucking I, if my pronouns are blunt and joints, then let me be, let me have that. You know. <laughs> I be blunt, God dang it. Yes, it, it, <laughs> you call me he or she. I'm blunt. Damn it. My name is Blunt. I go by Blunt or Joint. <laughs> yeah, Blunt. T H O B. Wait, wait, wait. No T, no T B O T D. Blunt is a fair. That bot, that bot, top bot, <laughs> T bot. <laughs> I'm but, dead. Oh, my god. oh my god, you're so funny. <laughs> but but no, nah, but uh but also on the other end of it, um how much do you shoot? How much do you film for yourself? For myself, how- um you know what? I just moved into a new place, you know, so I haven't been shooting lately as like as in like the past week literally. But um for my con- for my page, I would say that I would probably try to do at least two to three videos a month, you know, and then I will do a lot of custom solo videos for my fans. <laughs> and um, yeah, I like it. I try not to. I I don't consider myself a lot of a, a much of a content creator, but I do have a page to run, and it is pretty good side money. So I like to do it, and um, I have a lot of loyal friend, a lot a lot of loyal fans. So um, mm-hmm. I gotta I gotta keep them going, you know. I gotta keep them horny, you know. I come hard so they can come harder. <laughs> so so do you do? Uh, well, I take it you don't do solo content. So most of your stuff is really just pretty much boy, you boy. Most girl. of my solo content is custom, you know. But yeah. um, I do sometimes do solo content for my page. But I do mostly collabs. I do a lot of trans on trans collabs on my mm-hmm. on my content. Okay, no doubt. So. Let's say someone hit you up for a content trade. What do you look at and consider for you to say, yeah, I'll work with you? 
Um, I would say the first thing that I see is my mutuals, my mutual followers that I have with them, because I get to see like who of my friends that I know in the industry either have worked with them or that I know they're not going to be like a crazy person, you know, and I'm not, and like the only reason why I said that is because, um, some, some, some creators hit me up and they have a smaller page, you know, like I, my Twitter page has on its own over 50,000 followers. So yeah. like sometimes like a lot of people, like a lot of people will hit me up, you know, and I got to make sure that I at least have some mutual friends that are, that I can maybe get like a advice on, to ask. I'm like, oh, like, have you shot with them? Oh, have you shot? Yes, you know, like, a, yeah, a reference you get, I, I guess so. <laughs> but um, that and um, I don't know, I, I like to see the quality of their content, you know, because I don't I like, I don't like to do like blurry shit. I don't like to do like, like, like I wanna make it look good, you know. I got a I got a brand to run. <laughs> I wanna eventually become a business, you know, and um yeah, I feel like I like to see the quality of content that they provide and um that's it, you know. Oh, and of course if I'm sexually attracted to them. <laughs> Most definitely. So and the the other part of that is um when it comes to okay, for example, you might have a guy who've been doing straight porn. And he decides, you know, of course, in his normal sex life, you know, he's into transgender. When, let's say you went to a guy like that, how did he need to come at you, be it that he never done anything with transgender? Um, oh, that's a good question, actually. Now you, you're picking on my brain now. <laughs> um, was baby. I love it. I love it. Um, I would say that if um, if it's a straight content creator or like not straight, but like, well, I guess straight, you know, and that oh, they have only shot with two female talent and they want to start shooting with trans female talent. Um, I would just say, just treat me like, just approach me like you would approach any other talent, you know? I feel like it shouldn't be so hard to just be like, hey, like, would you like to make content, you know? And uh, Cause I'm actually gonna be shooting with a, a porn star in the industry. I'm not gonna drop the name <laughs> yet, <laughs> but uh, I'm shooting with someone that has never, that has produced and shot and like, cause he's also a director for a studio and um. Mm. Uh, for a straight studio, actually, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, which is only cis male and cis male, cis male and cis female, you know, mm -hmm. um, work. Anyways, um, I'm rambling now, but uh, I'm gonna be shooting with this person, and he was honest. He was like, "I've never shot um, trans content, but I would love to, and I would like it to be you." And then, and he was really sweet and very polite. And I was like, "You know what? Let's let me suck that dick." You know, <laughs> let me know when you're in LA and holla at your girl because I will be here ready practicing to deep throat. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, but I, I would say more than anything. For him because this is his first time with the trans. He might pop quick, yo. And some tell me, yes. He might <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> You know, I hope he does. <laughs> we'll get it on camera. <laughs> like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Debbie, I ain't got the bussy yet. I ain't got the bussy. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'll be like, you better have another load ready then. <laughs> <laughs> you better build that up, baby. <laughs> yeah, because I don't care about it because I because I, I had a conversation with Tragic and uh, they said they're like, no, nah, we suck dick way better than 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 uh. Now. That's what everybody says. I'm like. But you know what? I have gotten my dick sucked by other trans women, and you know what? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Not all of them. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that, but like, I would say that some of the best blowjobs I've gotten definitely have been from a beautiful trans woman, you know? Yeah, I, no, I can believe it because at the end of the day, it, it did not offend anybody. You know, now as I tell yeah. she, she was born a, a guy, so she knows what, uh, well, the outer appearance as a guy. Yes. Oh, a hundred percent. I feel like trans girls and and even gay guys, you know, like not to compare it or whatever, you know, but um like we because we are or actually any penis haver, you know, would yeah. be able to uh, yeah, like we know what we like, you know, like penis havers, males, 
trans, whatever you identify, that non-binary, if you will, you know, as long as you have a penis, like, we, yeah. If yeah. you have a penis, I'm sure you know how to suck some dick. <laughs> yeah. Even with lesbians, a woman know how to eat a woman's pussy. <laughs> exactly. It's better than we are. They're just facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you do about that? <laughs> right, right. Like, you can't, you, yeah, like, I mean, come on. It's, it doesn't take a genius, right? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, my God. So, oh, so I had fun talking to you, Miss Lady. I held you up here long enough. And I want to bring you back for more episodes so we of can follow course. the Oh, my business. God. I would love to. So much, yo, because we even get to the, you know, BDSM side. Uh, yes, you, you gotta know, give them a part two. Yes, <laughs> part two, three, and four, because you know I bring yes. those things on the basis, baby. Oh, you're the you might be, uh, you might be on your ten times, goddamn. <laughs> okay, I got you. As long as we got time, we can make it happen. As long as I got two blunts, we can make it happen. Next time, you gotta smoke a blunt with me. <laughs> Hopefully, I will have some weed the next go around, but I, I definitely plan to. I'm sad that I couldn't get none. The money's a little low today. Money's a little low today. So, with that being said, can I call you a smoke buddy, baby? Yes, baby. <laughs> and that's right, y'all heard it. The beautiful paradise will be back here on the Smokers Lounge, and she also will be in the premium smoke room that's right people and just to let everyone know you know how the premium smoke room get down we get more dirtier more candid more real more honest <laughs> it, it, the girls might get a little bit more wilder than that motherfucker. Yeah, we be dropping the names and shit <laughs> they, names, they might suck on the deal though they might even flash the camera ladies and gentlemen is that wild? It, it, yes <laughs> so subscribe 4.99 a month I'm talking about seven premium podcasts for you to enjoy, and that is cheaper than any Patreon that you would join. That you would join for any of these other podcasts. I'm giving it to you. You feel me? So, with that being said, Miss Paradise, tell everybody where they can spend money on your gorgeous ass. Yes. Oh my God. You can send me money through Venmo, Blunts and Paradise. Follow me on Instagram, Blunts and Paradise. My Twitter, eighteen and over. Otherwise, I will block your ass. In Paradise XX, and I um, guess my only fans slash in Paradise XX, and I hope to see you guys there. Shout, uh, let me know if you're subscribing from from listening to this podcast, so I can take care of my boy here. <laughs> Most definitely. So, people, you know how it is. Another one in the books. Another great episode. Yes. And we always end these episodes. Life is a learning experience. What's the point of the experience if you didn't learn anything? Smoke exactly. that Exactly. Tell everybody goodbye, gorgeous. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to us. And we can't wait to show you guys some more. Subscribe to him. He's amazing. And send him my kisses for him, for me. <laughs> No, I'm gonna get that kiss in, in, in person when I see you, though. Trust yes, me. of course you will. Smooches <laughs> and everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid to kiss a transgender people. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> I'm scared my manhood. All right, then we out. Your men are so visual too. Like if you're just doing like a lot of yeah, yeah. You know, they, they just love it, and, and it's on their their wallet. <laughs> Like, all I could hear was just slurs, not just racial slurs, like, you know, you start, you start, the F word, the N word, some other word I don't even know how to spell, you know, like, a bunch of slurs, very derogatory words, calling people names. Supposed to be in a society where we're supposed to be more progressive. Especially because there's so many down. Too much. And we get ready to shoot, there's a camera behind me and a light, you know, like.
It's like, you know, like the bright light. Every time I move away from it, you see the light. And I was like, can I please move it? He's like, and he's like, you know, I've heard it. He's like, you know, you can take the camera out of anything. Nobody's trying to do that. Nobody has 